Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. We've made it to the end of the work week, and here we are, still continuing our little journey here through the book of Philippians. And uh, I'm glad that you've joined me for five minutes with Phil. It's great to have you, as always. And I want us to take a look at uh, another passage of scripture here. We're still in Philippians chapter three again, okay? Uh, but this time I want to um, I want to start in verse seven. I want to read five scriptures to you. Um, th- this this passage is really really challenging. Okay, um, follow along with me. Here we go. Starting in verse seven. You ready? It says this. But what whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. Now, Listen listen to this next verse. Paul kind of sums it all up here. He says this, I want to know Christ. Yes, to, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. And so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Uh, I, I want to give you a challenge today to, kind of take you through the weekend, okay? And and that challenge is found in this question. You ready? You ready? Do we know Christ or do we know about Christ? Do we know Jesus or do we know about Jesus? They're two different things. Uh I live in Akron, Ohio. This is the hometown, the birthplace of LeBron James, okay? Now, I know a lot about LeBron James simply because I've lived here. I know where he went to high school. Uh, I, I know uh, some of his statistics. Uh, I, I, I can tell you a lot about him, but I don't know LeBron personally. Not at all. Uh my fear in this culture that we're living in is that we have a lot of people that maybe go to church or they join online and, and they, they know about Jesus, but they don't really know him personally. And I don't think it's God's plan for us to uh, have a bunch of Bible trivia knowledge about his son. Uh, I believe the Lord wants us to get to know him just like this passage of scripture said. How do you do that? You get to know somebody by spending time with them. You get to know somebody by having conversations with them. Being in their presence. Being with them. You get to know that person. Uh, Some of my closest friends... We weren't closest friends right off the bat. There was a relationship that had to develop. If you want to get close to Jesus, there's a relationship with Jesus that has to develop. Not just knowing about Jesus, but spending time in prayer. Just talking to the Lord. Pouring your guts out to him if you need to. But also listening to him speak back to you. That, that's where this time of the word comes through. That, that's why we do these five minutes with Phil. So that the Lord could speak to you through his word. And the more and more we do that. And we, we just personally worship God. And we get to know him better. And you know what happens? We, we, we develop this relationship where we go from knowing about Jesus to knowing him personally. So my question and my challenge to me and everybody here watching this is this. Do I know about Jesus or do I know Jesus? My goal is that I would know, just like Paul, that I would know Jesus personally. 
So take that challenge with you all this weekend. God bless you. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.